This is probably my favorite new feature as a motion designer and someone who's working with text and objects and bevels a lot. You're always beveling stuff in Cinema 4D. You're always making text and extrudes. And previously, if we take a look at, at caps, this is what we had. We had fillet cap on the front and back. This is our standard text and mo text. We're always doing this. And then your options are really just linear, concave, convex, half circle, one step, two step. So you could do some stuff, but there was no way to build your own or really go beyond that. And this is a project file that I put together on a previous version of Cinema 4D. So you'll see, even if I open up an old one, there's now this migrate option, which is great. So if you know there's a new way of doing something in the new version from an old project file, there's a lot of buttons that pop up like this. And if I click migrate, now it's migrated my Motex to all the features of R21. And if I take a look at caps, this menu looks pretty different. And let's just take this word motion and put it into a new file so we can talk specifically just about these caps. So now rather than two repetitive processes of adding a start end cap, you have one bevel and you just check start and end cap. Or if you wanted a front and back one be with different settings, you could click separate bevel controls. But most of the time we want it to look the same. You don't want to do the same step twice or link things together. And the big update now is on this bevel shapes size and all these settings within this menu. So we click bevel shape. It looks like there's less, but there's actually a lot more control because there's an infinite amount of possibilities you can do with the new system. So if we just had round, that's kind of our standard default bevel that we might be used to. And I'll put on the garage shading lines with NB so we can see what this is doing. So we have round bevel with the size of five. And if we turn up the segments, we got our rounded bevel. We can increase that, decrease that. That's great. We have solid bevel, which is our standard kind of chiseled bevel step, which we can now increase to as many steps as we want. So before there's one step, two step, now we could have a hundred steps if you want. And it's really taking the idea of steps and just letting you customize it. But the big control and update is this curve. And what this means, if you open this up and take a look, it gives you this Bezier curve. And this means the bevel could be whatever you want. So by default, it's just going from zero to one on a straight line. So it's our default bevel, but we could command click and make new points and bend that curve, bend it backwards for an inner kind of bevel, or we could command click, make a bunch of points and go completely nuts and really customize this bevel to whatever we want it to. So Look at that, just with a couple of clicks and a couple of drags of this bevel and adjusting our Bezier curve, now we have this totally custom bevel that is something we never could have done by default in Cinema 4D. And this is huge in my opinion. This just gives you so much control over customizing. You can just use Bezier curves to bend and adjust this. You can take the whole thing and adjust the shape depth. So it's taking that idea of the curve and making the whole thing bigger. You can bring it negative so it's cutting in, adjust your segments just like always, and you can save presets. So if you're doing motion graphics and doing text, we can say curvy bevel 10 step. And then so we had another text object and let's just mess this up real quick. And say we made a bunch of adjustments and we realized we want to use our preset. We can just load preset, grab that curvy preset, but you probably notice that when we do load preset, you also get all of these custom presets to start from. So if you're in a hurry, you just want to make some cool bevels. Not only can you make your own, but you can just grab a preset, drop it on, get so much more flexibility than you could before, and really massively upgrade the way you're making bevels. Seems like a silly thing to be this excited about, but this is a really big deal for adding a lot of details. That's going to catch a lot of lighting and look nice for motion graphics and it applies to wherever you're making bevels before. So if you had an extrude object with a circle, it's the same thing now. We can go to that extrude object, hit up caps, load preset, and look, there's my custom preset, grab some different presets, and you can really elevate your motion graphics a ton with this one 
simple little new feature. So I hope this was a useful tour of some of these features. As always, you can check out more motion graphics, Cinema 40, and After Effects tutorials at motiontutorials.net, and be sure to subscribe at youtube.com slash seanfrangella. And if you have any questions, you can hit me up on Twitter, I'm at Sean Frangella, or check out the Facebook page at facebook.com slash motion tutorials. And be sure to check out some of those other videos and tutorials that are popping up in those thumbnails. As always, thanks for watching. I will see you at the next video.